It has been a big week for Google as the company has announced a number of new projects that are being worked on. I know many people are talking about the new AI tool called BARD, but Android 14 has been big news for the community as well. The first developer preview of Android 14 has been announced, and those with a recent Google Pixel smartphone are eligible to install it. So today, I want to show you how we can install this early build that isn't even being considered a beta release. For you to test out Android 14 DP1 right now, you will need to own the 5G variant of the Google Pixel 4a, the Pixel 5, Pixel 5a, Pixel 6, Pixel 6 Pro, Pixel 6a, the Pixel 7, or the Pixel 7 Pro smartphone. I have the 7 Pro right here and we'll be using it to demonstrate how to install this pre-beta release. But you should know that the process is going to be exactly the same for all of these devices. So to begin, we're going to need to visit this Android 14 release page. And you're going to need to do that on your desktop or laptop PC. I'll be showing you how this installation is done using the Android Flash tool. So this will require Chrome, but it can also be manually flashed using ADB and Fastboot tools as well. This process will wipe all of the data you have on your device, so back up any important information ahead of time. And if you ever want to uninstall Android 14 Developer Preview 1, then you'll lose all of your data again. Remember, this isn't even considered a beta release, so it could have some major bugs that prevent you from using it as your daily driver. Once you're ready to begin, let's connect the Google Pixel to the PC with a USB cable. And on the desktop PC, we're going to click that Android Flash Tool link. So we have our Google Pixel connected to the PC with a USB cable. We're on this Android 14 website and we're going to click this Android Flash Tool link right here. You're going to be asked to allow access to your ADB keys and if you're seeing no devices available right here go through this make sure you have your drivers installed make sure you have developer mode install enabled again make sure it's plugged in and then we're going to click on the add new device button we're going to find our actual phone in this list click connect if you get this pop-up message you may have adb running in the background if that's true we're going to need to run this adb kill server command but again also check to make sure that you have developer mode enabled and if you haven't done so already, also enable USB debugging mode on your Google Pixel as well. As long as you're told that you are connected right here and you don't have any red errors like we saw before, then you are ready to proceed. However, I do recommend you click this pencil icon right here so that we can edit the options here. For example, I do not want to lock the bootloader. And again, we do want to wipe the device. And anytime I use the Android Flash tool, I force flashing of all partitions to make sure whatever I'm installing has been in completely installed on the device. When you're ready to begin, click the blue install build button right here and then confirm what we're installing. 
we're going to be installing the Android 14 Developer Preview 1 on our Pixel 7 Pro with these options. And again, we're just going to click Confirm. Click I Accept. You're going to see your Google Pixel reboot as it brings you into fast boot mode. With the install underway, now we just need to wait while Android 14 Developer Preview 1 is being flashed. This process can take a bit of time and we'll want to maintain a stable connection with our PC using that USB cable. So I recommend that you do not pick up the phone or wiggle the cable at all. If the installation is interrupted in any way, it could cause the device to go into a boot loop or worse, it could even brick the phone entirely. The amount of time that it takes to install the first developer preview of Android 14 will depend on a few factors. Since it has to download this entire update, the speed of your internet connection will be a factor here the speed of your PC and even the USB cable itself can also be a factor. During this installation process we're going to see the phone reboot a number of times and be sure to always follow the instructions listed here. So do not interact with the device unless instructed to do so by this page. And importantly, do not unplug your device. We just want to wait while this firmware is being installed. And you should see your Google Pixel reboot back into Android on its own when it has been completed. Once you see it stay, say install complete, look to make sure your Google Pixel has rebooted on its own. And know that this first boot back into the Android operating system is likely going to take longer than normal. Remember, we just wiped everything we had on the phone, so it has to set some things back up before we can begin using it. We'll be taken to the Android activation screen where we can complete the setup process. We can double check the Android version page of the About section in the Settings application to confirm that Android 14 was successfully installed and we now have the first developer preview on here. We can see this update is being referred to as Upside Down Cake from the folks at Google. Now many of the new changes with Android 14 are happening behind the scenes but there are some nice user-facing features that have arrived with this update as well. If you'd like to see me cover those new features of Android 14 here on the channel, then leave a comment down below to let me know. I hope this video has helped shed some light for anyone who is interested in trying out this early release. Just remember, that we should expect a few bugs to be present since this is such an early build of Android 14.